Hi you guys, so today I decided to talk about um, basically what makes Gory Physical Therapy different to other physiotherapy um, practices. So one of the big things is I'm not only qualified as physio, I'm also qualified as a massage therapist. So really and truly you get the best of both worlds. So you get the hands of a masseuse but the head of a physio with the knowledge of how to treat injuries and how to deal with them appropriately and then also with rehab and all that sort of thing. So that is quite a big thing because I really, not all physios use a hands-on approach, but I do and I find it really beneficial. People find it really beneficial. They'll actually leave feeling better and then they have the rehab to carry on that and to continue improving it. So um, that is one of the biggest things. The other thing is it's one hour appointment. You would always get one hour with me. Um, maybe 45 minutes actually but you will always get 45 minutes to one hour and I'll always allow even a little bit of extra time afterwards because I don't believe in back-to-back -back appointments in the sense that I just want people to know that they have my time and they don't have to worry about um being basically rushed out and that's another thing that I would do and then another thing that I do quite regularly for people is I also I always check up on them and I um, make sure that they're okay if they're not okay I'll ask them what they've been doing seeing if we can pinpoint what why they're not actually feeling any better or if they're not as about as well as we'd hope they'd be or why they've disapproved I'll always keep in contact like as in about a week from your last visit I won't be doing it for months but just about a week from your last visit just to see why um like because about about a week after first visit you should be seeing improvements and just to see why see if maybe you need to come back might be the best option or see maybe if it's just because you're not doing your re rehab properly or regularly enough or something like that and so yeah another thing I would do quite regularly for people is I would do exercise booklets so these are basically visual booklets that you'll get you'll get a picture and you'll get an explanation and the pictures are fairly good too so you can nearly do it off the pictures but then the little bit of information on the piece of paper is quite good Um, I do them regularly enough for people I don't do them for everybody it depends on how many exercises you need and um, it does make a big difference because I know I can be told how to do an exercise but I, unless I see it I probably won't be able to do it so I have to be shown things so it kind of it suits all people with all sort of learning skills I feel so um yeah, it's that's very beneficial and it kind of also when you have a piece of paper in front of you kind of reminding you that you have to do your rehab it's great for that because it keeps you kind of accountable and doing it constantly so um yeah that is kind of the main things that i feel that would make me stand out as a physio also for massage like if you want to come to me for massage not only are you basically getting a great massage but you're also um, have the head of a physio with you so like as in if there's any little problems you've had in the past we'll be mindful of that maybe even help you improve that further and not cause any more problems with it um, or if you can even even if you just like getting a regular massage but you've like had problems with your calf we can like if you're trying to get back to sport or something you're getting regular massage but it's not helping we can rehab that also so it's not just massage you're getting you're actually getting um a little bit of physio as well so i like mix i mix the two into my treatments really um it's rarely i do 100 percent massage to be honest but that's not a bad thing it's because basically it's for the benefit of you if you want to want if you come into me and tell me you want a one hour massage i will do that but um i try to give people the best I can so yeah if you've any questions about my services I have dry needling available I have pregnancy massage I have baby massage I have um physiotherapy service I have um I'm doing cupping as well now and yeah so there's a few more bits if you have any questions and you're not sure about what I do oh yes I do oncology massage so if you've anyone going through any sort of cancer treatment or on a cancer journey get in contact with me and I might be able to help them because it does it just brings a bit of normality back into life when you're going through a, a horrible experience so yeah if you have any questions guys get in contact you can make an appointment with me also okay thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoy it